<laughs> Don't push her in there. Okay. So I think there's only two recipes, maybe. Let's have a look. Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> okay. Enough of that. So, yeah. Three gunpowder, it looks like, which is, I think, the standard recipe for it. You need three gunpowder. Was oh, actually, that might be less, actually. Let's have a... Uh, TNT. I think you need five normally, maybe. Yeah, it's normally five. It's actually, that's actually uh, pretty good. So there's actually a few way of, a few ways of actually crafting this. You can use coal dust, saltpeter. Never used saltpeter before. Saltpeter ore. I don't think I found that. Um, yeah. So there's that. You can use it using powdery combs. I'm not sure how I get them. That might be my rocky, uh, rocky bees actually. Have to see about that in a bit. Honey drop, okay. Otherwise, what we'll need to do is create a soul shard, I believe. And basically using these, you can... If you kill enough of a mob, um, it'll create like a spawner. And you can use that, well, you can, you can kind of trap the souls in a spawner. So, you can create like a farm. You can farm mobs pretty easy using it. Uh, which is great, but you need like soul forge and all this fancy stuff. It's not too hard to get started, but I'd like to uh, like to do some stuff beforehand. I don't think I showed you guys this either. I might have done. <laughs> I basically just li literally like improved these steps here. I've blocked it up a little bit as you can see there, but it still needs a little bit of work. Um, and I need to finish it off at some point. I need to do magic at some point too. Grr. <laughs> so much stuff I haven't done. Grr. Oh well. We shall see. So yeah, back to making this compressor. Okay, what do we need? So, these things aren't too bad to make. I'm not sure if I should make some of these. Might be worth it, just because I've got enough steel, and I don't think I'm going to need it in anything else. I'm uh, not sure about that yet. Should make a bunch of this uh, TNT. Ah, come on. Got far too much gunpowder. I'm not entirely sure how much I TNT you get from uh, for bread. Three, okay. So that's five worth. Let's see how much we get from uh, every time we make this industrial TNT. Four, okay. So and I think you need like fifteen every couple of uh... oh god okay there must be an easy way to do this I feel um... because that requires I believe yeah for every four diamond dust you need sixteen TNT once I get enough uh, wheat farmed that shouldn't be too much of a problem but before then it's gonna be hell I think okay so I actually just looked up some more information on the implosion compressor online <laughs> and dear god is it horrible um, you you need a lot more reinforced casings which are those things I was talking about earlier down here and you're also going to need a lot of uh, TNT that sort of stuff um, so I think what I'll, what I'll do is I'll go off camera I'll create a wheat farm down here so I can get some more wheat going or maybe up on the surface might be slightly easier. And then basically, yeah, I'll I'll make a farm of that, come back, and hopefully build the reinforced casings, build the uh, <laughs> compressor, and I'll probably p replace this thing with the actual implosion compressor, so I can use that. Um, I think that'll be slightly easier. So I'll do that all off camera, otherwise you're going to be watching me for like two hours literally making casings. <laughs> so I'll see you in a bit. Okay, so we finally got our implosion compressor, and damn, is it looking fine! Look at that thing, and I've already got it churning out some diamonds. Unfortunately, this doesn't require a lot of energy to run; like, pretty much not at all. You can see most of these recipes, 640 EU. It, it's a pittance, really. Um, 
so here's the recipe for diamond dust. The problem I'm having at the moment is the industrial TNT is very costly. Uh, if we look at that, it's 3 TNT makes 4, and you need 16 per... I think it's 4 diamond dust? Uh, yeah, 4 diamond dust, and that makes 3 diamonds. So, you put if you put 2 diamonds in to make 4 diamond dust, you'll get 3 diamonds out of that. So you essentially, you're timesing the amount of diamonds you get by about 1.5. Um, which is pretty good. It's a lot better than vanilla anyway. The upgrade that I want to get, um, which is going to use the... I think it's called the industrial like grinder or macerator. The one I, I was talking about in the very beginning, um, which is going to be there. I haven't actually managed to make all the parts for it yet, because <laughs> it's, it's kind of really expensive. Um, that will increase it to, I believe, I did the maths, and it was something on the lines of about 2.25 diamonds per ore, which is really good. Um, it still requires this machine here, uh, but you get like a diamond when you kind of when you first uh, macerate it or kind of whatever you thing you'd call putting it in there is stuff. Um, so that's that's fairly good. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, my main problem is the uh, iron TNT because I'm going to need 12 TNT to actually make essentially three diamonds. So the way I've been getting TNT at the moment is I'm going to her and I'm trading bread, which is made out of wheat, for gunpowder. Then I'm trading gunpowder <laughs> for TNT. And yeah, finally I'm, I'm trading these TNTs, well I'm I'm using these TNTs to make ice TNT. Um, so it gets a little costly pretty pretty quick. As you can see, I need 12 of these TNTs, which is about 36 gunpowder, 4 times 36 for the bread, times 3 for the wheat. It's gonna be pretty, pretty, pretty damn large. Um, yeah. So I, I managed to do it once, but probably using some of the gunpowder I got for creepers. So not really counting. In here, I've, I've. This is meant to be stopping at the moment, but some of the trees are still growing from the saplings. I, I've stopped this at the moment because I was just getting ridiculous amounts of uh, wood from here. I've, I've pretty, I cleared most of this out, and I've still got like stacks and stacks and stacks. I'm not really wanting for charcoal much again. Um, as you can see down here, I've got a MFE hooked up to a generator. That's taking some um, energy from an extra water-like mill farm I hooked up over here. <laughs> the uh, funky glass panels. But most of the energy is coming from like just charcoal I've got from uh, this tree farm here. I want to automate it, so like it'll take the logs out of here, it'll smelt them, and it'll use that for power if like this isn't emitting if like it goes below half, which I think I can do with that icon there, you can like emit a redstone signal if it's below half. So I can use that to control how much uh, fuel is going to this generator, so it should keep it up and running. Um, which means the only kind of thing I have to put into this system is the hummus, which is really easy to make. And hummus like keeps it going, like one hummus will do one tree, so it will keep it going for a long time. I've actually run out at the moment, that's why I stopped it, I uh, broke the connection here. And over here is my wheat farm. That has not actually been producing that much wheat, I have to say. Mainly because when I started out I only had a few seeds, so I've been pretty much like reputting the seeds in from here. And like, yeah, so it, it will get faster the more it has been planted. My plans at the moment to increase the yield, which I'm getting from this farm, is uh, yeah, is to make something called a forester. And what a forester does is you supply it with some, I believe it's called Catalyst? Oh, I can never smell it right. Okay. Forester. Pretty expensive, but we got the diamonds from the, uh... Yeah, we got the diamonds from that thing back over there. So, <laughs> which I can't remember the name of. Um, and this is fairly standard. So, yeah, you, you pretty much make this, and then you supply it with something called Catalyst. I don't know if you, I think you might need to supply it with the energy too, that's not really a problem. Um which is pretty easy to make. You can make it using cans. The one, recipe I'm going to use, I believe, is this one here. Which is bone fertilizer I've made before for the hummus. Uh, it's really easy to make. Bone, get off skeletons. I've actually got a skeleton spawner hanging around um, that I stole on my adventures. I think I stole it from a dungeon. can't remember. But yeah, cans, really easy to make. Just tin. I've got a bunch of tin at the moment. So much tin, you would not believe. Um, <laughs> I've I've been mining like deep in the deep levels, and I have found so much tin. The 
the problem is I have not found enough copper, and copper is the main ingredient in bronze. Um, it's been a been a quite a trouble, as you can see. I've just been mining recently here, uh, and basically the ore spawning rules have sort of changed a bit. So, because I was looking on like forums saying like, where's all the copper gone? And they were like, dude, the spawning rules are different. Look above level 30. And so I looked a little bit above level 30, and I found a little bit, not too much, but enough to sort of get me going. Then I looked about level 45, and it seemed to increase about there. So I've been mining on that, and it seems to be okay. I still don't get as much copper as I do get tin. I get lots and lots of tin. Um, but it's enough to kind of keep me supplied. I did have two funny mishaps on my adventures. <laughs> the first was when I was building this, and there was a bunch of centaurs outside here. They're like horse lady people. And you, you won't know this probably, but they have really long knockback. And so I was fighting one over here, and she knocked me back down here. And I thought this was just like a hole in the ground, so I was like, okay, I'll wait for her to walk over here, and when she comes like over here, I'll just hit her, hit her from below. So she came over here, <laughs> and I was like, rah! And she, yeah, she hit me with an arrow, and I got knocked back all the way into this uh, lovely chasm here. As you can see, I pillowed up with gravel. Um, and my nano boots were, like, run out of charge, so um, normally they reduce, like, most of the fall damage you take, but because they had no charge on them, uh, yeah, I fell to my death from that. <laughs> Wasn't fun. The second mishap I had was, um, when I was out in a ravine doing some mining, and basically I found some lava, but it was K because I just, like, I just cobbled stoned out. But, so I lost about a heart, maybe two hearts, because Nano armor takes it fairly well, uh, and then I was like, okay, it'll be fine because the the fire will just like wear out. Um, it'll be fine, like the the fire will put itself out. So I was running along the edge of the ravine, and the fire still wasn't putting itself out. And I got, I got down to like one heart, and I was like, okay, this is a serious problem now. Uh, I need to portal out of here. So I just literally made a portal next to the wall, came out over here. And just collapsed. I just died right here. I was like, oh, okay, that's fine. Because uh, my stuff's like right here. I can just run back, get it. So I did. And I realized like a lot of my stuff was missing. And I realized what had happened is when I died here, my my stuff had been flung all over the place. And it had gone back through the portal um, <laughs> to the ravine. So I, I went back through the portal quickly and found lo most of my stuff. Luckily, like none of this stuff, which is my main stuff. If the portal gun had like gone, I'd have cried. Um, most of that stuff was here. Well, basically all of that stuff. That's my important stuff at the moment. These four, these four, uh, that's not as much, maybe. That's not as much. That one's really important. That one's really important. That's not as much. Um, a lot of my ores had like fallen, in, like, fallen into the lava, but compared to like the portal gun, <laughs> which I was so lucky to get, uh, it didn't really matter too much. So that's been mainly my adventures. I've just been sort of uh, upgrading. I'm still thinking about whether to like bite the bullet and get solar panels, even though I think like solar panels are sort of cheaty because you can basically like once you get the f the advanced ones, um, which aren't too hard to make to be honest, everything becomes so much easier. Um, advanced solar panel, I believe they're called. I think these generate about eight EU per tick. Which, as you can imagine, is pretty... Like, those things are really easy to make. That's pretty easy to make. Um, and these are... Yeah. Reinforced glass. I've made that before. Irradiant uranium is just, I believe, refined uranium, which is just uranium in a compressor with glowstone dust. Um, so that's pretty easy to make. And, yeah, once you get that, it generates 8 EU per tick. And to put that into perspective, each one of these generates about 0.25 EU per tick. So, I guess even though it's quite a lot more expensive than this, I feel like, yeah, if I if I get this, I am generating 8 EU per tick, that's about 160 EU per second. So, I'm going to have a lot of power. And I feel like, if I'm doing it this way, I believe, like, generators output like 2 EU per tick. And they have to be fueled. I feel like it's a way of, kind of, I guess they only run half the day, so you have to always half their output. 